Good afternoon, my student. This is the third session uh, for uh, analyzing the text of immigrant contribution. As I told you, we are not going to read every little, uh, uh, every paragraph. We are going to make like a selection uh, uh, in order to clear the point for you. Last time we have stopped, um, I think, at paragraph eight. Uh, now let's go to page 29. Uh, we need to uh, to go to uh, paragraph. Uh, we need to go to paragraph uh, ten to read it. Okay, uh, get your book next to you, please. Okay, here we go in paragraph ten. Uh, let's read it. Uh, perhaps uh, the most uh, uh, perversive influence of immigration is to be found in the innumerable details of life and the customs and habits brought by millions of people who never became famous. This impact, okay, uh, this impact uh, was felt from the bottom up and these contributions to American institutions may be the ones which must intimately affect the lives of all Americans. Uh, he meant that the, uh, the, the um, speak about the effect of immigration uh, that uh, uh, has been done by people that we don't know their names. They are not famous like the list of people who had Kennedy mentioned before. So we have the um, uh, we have we have the we have the uh, uh, the the first thing they they wrote the preservatives. We had the for the preservatives. Let's try the meaning of this. So the word yes the pervasive. Uh, it's an adjective. So uh, the word uh, the adjective pervasive. Uh, means something uh, noticeable, something remarkable. Um, it's an, an antonym for the word no noticeable. Uh, and also um, remarkable, or we can say extensive too. Anyway, the, uh, the antonym is something you can find it uh, and you can notice it, so it will be something rare. This is the opposite. Um, so the, perhaps the most remarkable influence or effect of immigration is to be found in the innumerable details. Something like the word innumerable, it seems that it's related to numbers. So what the meaning of the word do you think innumerable? Innumerable is an adjective, of course. And um, um, it means that something cannot be, uh, cannot be counted. So the uh, the serum will be uh, countless, maybe countless. Okay. Uh, and the antonym is the something that you can count or measure. So it will be measurable, measurable. Okay, or it could be means few, or the 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 antonym would be few, few number, of course. So again, he speaks about the, that um, uh, this remarkable effect of the immigration uh, found in uncounted or the, in countless details. Uh, which details is the in details of life, the customs, and the habits. Uh, all those things are brought by millions of people, not few people, who never became famous. We, we didn't know anything about them. The tales of life, the custom, and the habits. Uh, we never know about those people because they, are, they were not fa famous. This impact, this effect was felt from the bottom up. It means that it was apparent in the whole society. And these contributions to American institutions may be the ones which most uh, intimately affected the life of all Americans. That's the thing that affected the life of the American people. 
Um, <clears throat> Let's go to paragraph 11. We highlight this part. In the area of religion, all the major American faiths were brought to this country from abroad. So the, the, the American faiths were not uh, originally uh, born in, in this land. It was all brought from, to this country from abroad. Let's go to paragraph 12. Yes, highlight, please. Um, s starting from... Uh, so, too, in the very way we speak, immigration has altered the American life. Okay, has altered the American life. We need the word al altered and greatly enriching the American vocabulary. Uh, yes. Uh. Then skip those lines and start from one writer has suggested that typical American menus might include some of the following dishes. And he started to list for you a uh, list of dishes that uh, uh, they are famous in America, but they are not originally uh, found there. It was found in, the, uh, in, in their country. Some of them are Spanish, some of them are Irish, Welsh, Yorkshire, uh, Danish, Turkish, uh, Canadian. Yes, if you read it, you'll find that it has a lot of names of dishes that were not uh, originally made or found in America. Okay, let's write the word altered. Alter is a verb. It has altered American life, means that it has a change. So alter means a change or develop. Okay. Or we can say adjust also. This is another synonym. Uh, reshape, also one more synonym. Reshape. So uh, the antonym, the antonym, I think it will be uh, remain. Maintain or remain, uh, it, it means that didn't make any change in it. Maintain or remain. Okay. When the author used this word, typical American menu, and this word has been said by one writer. So he, the author used the word said by someone else. That's why he put it between two quotations. Typical American menus. What kind of appeal here? Mentioning the one other people. Um, yes, words, it's appeal to authority. Appeals to authority. Um, we go to paragraph 13, um, and in paragraph 13, uh, we read that immigration plainly was not always a happy experience. It was hard on the newcomers and hard as well on the communities to which they came. Uh, he speaks about that uh, the immigration is uh, is not hard for the people who are coming to to the new place only, but it's also c hard for those people who already live in the, this community. Uh, when poor, ill-educated, and the frightened people disembarked in a strange land, they often fell prey to native uh, rec uh, rectiers, rectiers, uh, unscrupulous businessmen, and the cynical politicians. A uh, boss tweet said, characteristically, in defense of this own uh, depredations in New York in 1870s, this population is too hopelessly split into races and factions to govern it under universal suffrage except by uh, bribery of uh, uh, patronage or corruption. Um, we need to highlight this yes, uh, starting from uh, this line. First, let's first underline some words. We will need to discuss its meaning, like the word um, uh, pray. Yes, and the word um, uh, the word dis, uh, disembarked, pray, rectures, unscrupulous, and cynical. 
uh, this embark, this is a verb, and it means uh, uh, land, to land in a strange land, means that they, they get to live there. We have pray. Uh, pray is a noun, it can work like an adjective too. We have studied in the science. Pray means victim. It means victim or chased. The antonym is attacker or predator or predator. Uh, the word unscrupulous, unscrupulous, we need to erase this first. Uh, before this, we have the word uh, uh, racketeers. This is a noun, it means blackmailer. Blackmailer are people who are. Uh, blackmail other people to get money from them, so they are getting money in a uh, dishonest way. Unscrupulous, it's an adjective. Uh, the unscrupulous are uh, uh, dishonest also, or dishonest or um, uh, corrupted. dishonest or corrupted. The opposite is, or the antonym is ethical, and we can use honest to add uh, the antonym. Okay. Uh, so uh, he speak about that the, those people who came to this place for the first time, they felt like a victim to native uh, blackmailer or those uh, dishonest businessmen or corrupted businessmen and cynical politician. The word cynical, it means um, uh, untrust. Ironic or cynical means ironic or uh, sarcastic or uh, distrusting. Distrustful. Uh, the uh, the opposite or the antonym is uncynical or trusting or yeah, uh, believe believing. Go to this line again, we are in the paragraph 13, underline this one. When poor, ill-educated and frightened people disembarked in a strange land, they often fell prey to native uh, rectors, uh, unscrupulous businessmen and the cynical politician. Here, uh, what kind of appeal is used here? He described those people by being poor, by being ill-educated and frightened. He using charged language to implant your feelings, so this is an appeal to emotion. Is using appeal to emotion to persuade the, the reader. Okay. The word diffraction, what does it mean? If we have a party and this is party, we have a lot of groups and one group is opposing the rest of this group. So this group is opposing another group in the same party. We will call this group is fraction this is a fraction and the fractions the, the synonym is the uh, section you have the meaning here written here uh, on the left side fraction yes synonym is section Go to paragraph 14, the next page. Uh, 
we read the first line, but the very problems of adjustment and assimilation presented a challenge to the American idea, a challenge which subjected that the idea to stern testing and eventually brought out the best qualities in American society. We are targeting the word assimilation. What do you mean of the word assimilation? Assimilation is the process of adapting to a culture, a new culture, uh, to be a part of it, to change your, uh, your point of view to, to, to be a part of the society. So assimilation means adaptation. It's the process itself. Remember, at the process itself. Okay. In the same paragraph, let's just start highlighting from the word the ideal. Okay. And let's highlight. The ideal of the melting pot symbolized, you can highlight, the ideal of the um, uh, melting pot symbolized the process of uh, uh, blending many strains into a single nationality. Only in the case of the Negro had the melting pot failed to bring the minority into the full stream of American life. Today we are, uh, we are engaged in ending this condition of uh, national exclusion and shame and abolishing forever the concept of second class citizenship in the United States. Yes. We need some words first to explain their meaning. And uh, let's uh, explain it first. Uh, he is, spoke about the, the, uh, the concept of melting pot. This is a symbol for the process of uh, the blending that happened in, uh, in the American society. Different strains, different people are all together mingled or mel melted into a single nationality. But there's still one case that cannot be solved. It's the case of the Negro, uh, the black people, the uh, 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 in the case of the Negro, had the, the melting pot failed to bring a minority into a full stream. They couldn't uh, 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 do this with the, with the Negro. Uh, he said that uh, today we are engaged. He said we, and he included himself in, uh, in this group because he, is, uh, he, uh, he considered himself as responsible for the thing. So he said we are engaged in ending this uh, condition uh, the national uh, national exclusion we need to to, yeah, uh, to explain what the meaning of the word exclusion yes exclusion is a noun and within it we have a verb with exclude to exclude something it means that to set it away from another thing so exclusion as a noun means to eliminate or in elimination as a noun or it means to uh, the the antonym is like acceptance, acceptance, or um, the embrace or welcome. All of them are antonym for the word exclusion. Um, the word abolish. Abolishing will take the um, the verb abolish. To abolish means to like cancel, to cancel or end something. The antonym will be approve or allow. So they do. They want to stop this national exclusion or elimination because it's within the country itself and uh, it's a shame too and also to stop it or cancel it forever the concept of having second class citizenship in the United States okay. uh, let's skip and go to the last page 28 the last paragraph and highlight please Uh, the continuous immigration of the 19th and early 20th centuries gave every old American a standard by which to judge how far he had come and every, uh, and every new American a realization of how far he might go. It reminded every American, old and new, that the change is the essence of life and that American society is a process, not a conclusion. Uh, the abundant resources of this land provided the foundation for a great nation. 
but only people could make the opportunity a reality. Immigration provided the human resources. The last two lines, we are the heir of all time, wrote uh, Herman uh, Melville, and with all nations, we divided our inheritance. He uh, spoke that, uh, uh, generally, he meant that uh, all the American people were the people who used this resources, uh, or the, um, uh, he said, the, um, the abandoned resources. Okay, let the, this line that he uh, mentioned at the end, we are heir of the all the time, said by someone else who used this quotation, and uh, this is that an, an, uh, one of the appeals. It's the appeal to authority uh, uh, to persuade the um, the, the reader. Okay. Uh, when you read the text again, one more time, all together, go to page 29 and answer the questions in your uh, textbook. Please don't don't answer in, in sorry in the copy book. Don't note the textbook to make it easy for me to. Um, to correct it. Thank you very much. I hope that this session was useful for you. Uh, stay alert for the coming session and see you soon, inshallah. Bye-bye.